I don't think I can remember a time that I've been this nervous and excited at the same time. Like, I can't quite work out what I'm feeling more. Tomorrow, I'm hosting my first ever in-person Flowness meetup to celebrate both the launch of Flowness and also just meet some of you in person and do a workout together. She's cute. Oh my God. Oh. I thought about not doing this video because I've been so flustered this morning that like I barely slept last night and it's obviously tomorrow morning. It is all go here as in this week because I've only been back in the UK I think Tuesday and it's Saturday when I'm filming this. Just been having loads of works men at the renovation house so if you didn't know this is what I've been renovating with Mason over the past a year and a bit and we're at the final stages of this renovation. It was supposed to be an investment house to be honest but I went way overboard with the kitchen and it's my first like investment property that I've ever bought. But the house is being painted as we speak, like there is masking tape all over the windows, I can't even see out the door. In fact I can't even get out the door because we have covered it so we don't get any paint on the doors. But yesterday I picked up these beauties, some affirmation cards, I got them in like an A7 size so they're bigger and then they've got lines on the back, absolutely love them. This one is, joy is what happens when we allow ourselves to recognise how good things already are, which I'm going to give out, but how typical. So I picked this, I blowing, I picked them up from the printing shop and they didn't come in a box. Oh, like they could have just put them in a bag, do you know what I mean? They were just tied together and as soon as I like stepped out, went to get in my car, they all like fell out. So some of them got a little bit crumpled. Also, I got my brows laminated the day before yesterday and I've had a lash lift and I feel so much fresher. If you're a five minute makeup girly in the morning and you're trying to save every bit of time, I could not recommend getting a lash lift more like you don't really need mascara for about two weeks and then you just literally kind of just go over you know like the ends of your lashes and oh, it's just so much easier I just wish that you could get like a permanent one because that would save so much time I get mine done every kind of nine to ten weeks it is dedication though because you have got to sit there for like a good hour so I always just get my brows done too and then I've gone with the lamination this time I feel like I'm one of these people, I think my face actually suits a more defined brow, but I'm here for, I'm just wanting some change, like, like I've been saying with the theme of recently, which has just been like reinvention and testing new things, getting creative, and I couldn't recommend you more to do the same. And I also wanted to mention for this video, just the theme at the minute, which is all around authenticity and stepping into the version of you that you know that you want to be, but it's rather than delaying it and thinking, oh no, once I'm like at X point, or once I've got this job, or once I've got rid of whatever, that's only when I'm gonna start practicing in those habits whereas West we're all about this stage of our life like just stepping into our power and being bold for example tomorrow I can't tell you how nervous I am for this event and like, I'm, I think it's just like the amount I'm just trying to picture like the amount of people I know I'll be fine I hope when I get there but oh just public speaking or like anything in front of a crowd really gives me anxiety on another level but I know that it's something I want to do and step into so if I can do it you can too because it doesn't come easy you know some people generally just like natural speakers and they love being in front of people I am just not one of those so I just wanted to share that with you right just making a quick yogurt bowl pre-gym have this at least once a day and sometimes more and then I just change up the fruit oh it's so nice a strawberry. I've got this beige gym bag from Gymshark. It's not gifted or anything. I'm really loving this. Ooh, she's cute. These are these electrolytes that I've put in my water. This flavour is Himalayan lime. I only put like half to be honest because I find it a bit strong otherwise. So many compartments. I don't know why I haven't got one of these sooner. Like, I've been putting stuff in really small bags for the longest time. I can put my tripod, like, I can bring you along a bit easier in with me in here. Right, let's go.
after a really good upper body session. I did some steps as well on the Stairmaster. My current step goal is 13k steps a day, which is a commitment, you know, it blooming takes time, but the only way I can actually achieve that is if I either split them up into a few different walks or use my walking pad that I've got at home and I just combine my work, so like any admin work whilst I'm on treadmill and then I just attach my watch to my ankle and it looks kind of like an, what's it called? A, what are they called? The prison, why is that word not coming to my head? Two hours later, I still can't think of it. Anyway, moving on swiftly. Got a Define parcel. I ordered this Define set, very on brand, with Flow for tomorrow. And this is perfect. And then I sent Mason a picture, and Mason was like, Right, we're gonna have to match. So he's currently in Manchester shopping, and it's like this one shoulder. I'm really liking Define at the moment. This isn't sponsored or anything. I like the booty part on them, especially the shorts. I feel like they're very flattering. Right, I've just had the everything shower. I've shaved my legs wash my hair, the lot. I'm just gonna tone my face. I can't decide what to do with my hair, whether to blow dry or to have it natural. I can't decide. I think I'll feel more comfortable with it, blow it out. So maybe we'll do that. Just using these cleansing Derm Pore Therapy Salicylic Acid. And once I've done this, I'm gonna make some dinner and then head over to Manchester. I don't think it makes sense to leave here at like 4 a.m. tomorrow. These are my two fave moisturizers at the minute. This is the Ren, just like an eye cream. I do wonder whether eye creams are any different to a moisturizer, but I feel like it makes a difference. And then really just skin food, the light one, I don't find as oily. I'm just gonna put these on my under eyes. It's a collagen gold eye mask, supposedly. I do wonder what they actually put in these. I haven't checked the ingredients. The ingredients, like it's a food. Voila! Just get some heat protect spray. I actually haven't put heat on my hair in, it'll be well over a month. This will be the first time. Here is finished hair, and I tried this Barely There Texture Mist. I couldn't find my mini rollers, so we've gone with the big one, but that'll do the job. Just a bit of extra volume. Oof. How cool do these look? I'm gonna put some goodies inside the goodie bag. Excuse how crazy I look. I'm really tired. Got some self tan serum drops to go in the bag. Kombucha, mango and passion flavour. And then I've got this little Halo Santa that is going in these little bags. These little high protein cereal little mini foods. God. Just leaving the house to go to ABC building, which is where it's like a dome venue that I mentioned yesterday. Oh my God. I've done I don't know how many toilet trips. I'm very nervous and excited. It's only nine minutes drive and we're taking two cars. So I'm going in mine and then Mason's coming. We had an absolute palaver with flipping gift bags, like palaver with a P, trying to get them all in the car and in boxes, didn't want to obviously squish them, so that was a flipping nightmare just there. Jeez. I need to remember to breathe. My dad sent me the cutest message just saying they wouldn't be coming if they didn't already believe in you and what you do. <laughs> just so nice, which has made my morning. I might ring him actually in a second. I don't know if you're like this as well, but honestly, I get so anxious with stuff like this. It's been something that I've wanted to do for well over two years, and I'm finally getting out of my way. If you're watching this right now, take this please as your sign to get out of your comfort zone because it does really make you feel just i feel very alive right now i just hope it goes well so yeah the plan of action is we get there set up then i'm going to take take them through a full body workout and some nice stretching i'm very grateful if you're watching this and you're going to the event today thank you for getting up so early on a sunday morning because it was bloody early, 5am and I know a lot of girlies are coming from down south so I'm really grateful and just so nice to meet you in person. Okay, 
Ready? God. So we finished and just been and unloaded the car. I've done about a million trips. I don't know how many steps I've done, but had to go up the lift, I think four times to take stuff to and from, like the poster, the sign and everything like that. Couldn't wish for more just beautiful people in every way. Oh, it was just so nice getting to know people's stories a little bit more and a bit more about their fitness journey and, 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 and just the whole thing was so lovely. Oh, gorgeous could have done without coming out to a parking ticket but it is what it is i think you know when you've been running off adrenaline like i've just been hit with like a wave of like i feel shattered absolutely shattered but that has just been so worth it quite last minute of an event and it's mason and i's first florence event which we both organized from scratch which i'm really proud of as well oh it was just perfect led a full body session mason did some breath work i'm just gonna get a coffee because oh my god i really need a strong coffee right now and then i've got a two-hour drive up to north yorkshire back up home there mason has got stuff to sort out here so it's just me but what an amazing day so we're driving back i'm about an hour from home and i just called up mason just to reflect on today because you know sometimes like the first hour after you've done something that you were really like nervous and excited for you are kind of in shock or maybe that's just me no i think you'll be the same i just had one of those moments where i was like oh my god when you start getting out of your own way things really start opening up and i feel very called to tell you this because if you're doubting yourself oh my gosh like your only limit is literally just your mind other people really don't care as much as you think they do for one and people are so engrossed in their own lives like don't let the fear of what you look like in front of other people stop you from doing the things that you've got in your mind as i'm saying this i know you've got something that you're you've been toying with or it could even be like a year or two you've considered trying something new or starting a new job quitting the current job like honestly wholeheartedly that is a direction to start working towards and it doesn't happen overnight like i was just thinking i've wanted to do one of these events for well over i was thinking so amazing has it been two years and i think it's been since 2020 but i've just held my like i feel like I, i've just got in my own head so much and not got out of my own way so it feels like a really big moment for me and this kind of all started as well with early in this year when mason and i did the first retreat just a crazy you know when you actually just reflect on things and then it just builds confidence as well and the only way to ever get through things that are really scary or out of your comfort zone and make you feel like you want to shit yourself is literally just by doing the thing so that is my little message for you today because i feel like we all need to just start stepping into our power more and just being okay with getting things wrong like today i i said in the beginning of the class i knew i was going to say something but I didn't know what. I introduced the class like, hi, like I'm Olivia, obviously introduced myself, but something along the lines of, can I touch you? Like what? I meant to say like, can I address you 
as in when we do certain positions and I can't believe that came out of my mouth it is what it is and like we're just human and don't try and be this perfect version because it's not even real anyway right I'm back home and Saffron who did the photography today has already sent the photos through also in the space of us last talking I fell down the stairs it's been a bit chaotic <laughs> since I've got through the door I've come back with so much flipping through I should have told everyone to put some in their bag or something because I cannot waste all that gorgeous fruit and because if we're going back to Spain next week I was just thinking what am I going to do with all this fruit like I don't want to put it in my freezer and then it just doesn't get used so I've gone round all my neighbours with bags of fruit I've also like had to deal with the painters who've been painting outside who got a little bit scary and basically they made me feel really intimidated because I was here on my own and like through the windows you could see me inside and like I just had this really awkward conversation but I was so hungry like I hadn't I've obviously driven from Manchester which was like two hours and I needed to eat so I thought I can't sit here like at this table and eat whilst they're like out the back door continuing painting so I sat on my stairs and then my phone rang and because I was so I think I've been so flustered because I've been running around I like ran with my plate in my hand and then just totally decked it down the stairs and my hip is so sore it's not broken but let's look at these photos first right it's just loading <laughs> Oh my gosh! Oh, I just can't cope. These are so cute. The fruit and everything did look gorgeous. Look at Mason Wall obviously matching. Oh my god! Oh! Oh, I can't cope. I'm so tired. I had a call earlier and then I just had some bits of work to do. It is 10 to 11 and I can't. I can't even keep my eyes open. I've been a dreaming of this moment. I'm just gonna get a really hot shower and get straight into bed. Thank you so much for coming along with me this weekend. I'm still on cloud nine. I've actually got lines where I've been smiling so much. I feel like I've just had a constant smile on my face. Yeah, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you and thank you from the bottom of my heart and soul. I feel like I could cry. But yeah, see you in the next video, my love.